everyone! In this tutorial and review, we'll dive deep into Shopify. We'll go through how it works and what you can get with the starter plan, what I like and dislike about this e-commerce platform, and much more. I'll make sure to cover everything you need to know to get started. And without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, let's create a Shopify account so that we can get started. If you want to create an account now as we go along in this tutorial, please click the link in the description down below. The link will bring you to the Shopify website. This exclusive link is not only convenient, but you can also get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on Shopify for the first month. It's honestly the best deal on the internet and there's nothing like it. So from here, you're going to go ahead and answer a couple of prompts provided by Shopify. They will ask you some basic questions regarding what you would like to sell, what type of products you are selling, and how you would like to build your website. After you have answered these prompts, you will enter the region that you are located in and then click on next. After answering these prompts, we can enter our email address to get started. After answering those prompts, we can now create our Shopify ID. Now, to get started with Shopify, we are going to be looking at the starter plan. Typically, the starter plan is $5 a month, but right now you can get it for really cheap. Simply click on select a plan. The starter plan features are already laid out over here, so you can see some of the basic features. If you want to see the full features, click on the full features list. So you will see that on the basic plan, or as we call it, the starter plan, you have inventory that you can set up for upwards of 10 location, 24 seven support, marketing automation, as well as a point of systems set up for you directly. So you don't have to purchase a separate POS for your physical stores either. Plus you have one headless front standard analytics, as well as a Ben cart recovery, gift card cards, discount codes, free SSL certificates, e-commerce automations, and only 2% in transactional fees on the starter plan on Shopify. I honestly recommend going with the starter plan, not just because it's the cheapest plan available, but because it is full of useful features that beginners will find handy in their business. So select this plan over here. Now, before you actually begin your plan with Shopify, you have to get started with actually purchasing a trial. So just put in your payment in Info, and once you complete your payment information, you can go on ahead and subscribe to this particular plan. Now, keep in mind that Shopify will provide you with a three day free trial, and then it will only be a dollar for one month. After that, the basic plan is going to cost you $25 every month, but that is going to be after your trial period of a dollar a month. So I'm just going to input this information and then you have to subscribe. Now, once you have clicked on the subscribe button, you can enter your payment info. And then after your payment info, you have to confirm your business address. Now, once you have confirmed your business address, we can get started with actually setting up our Shopify store. So right on the get-go, we definitely do want to add our product and we want to create our website, add our logo, set up payments. We'll go through all of it step-by-step. Step. Right now, let's go on ahead and add our product. To do that, click on product on the top left tab, then click on add product. From here, you can add a title, image, description, pricing, category, and you can add all of these step by step. To do this, let's go on ahead and first add a title for our product, which is going to be a scalp scrub. Now, once we do that, we can enter a description. And if you're uncertain about what you want to insert in your description, you can click on this sparkly icon. This is actually an AI feature integrated into Shopify, which allows you to generate product descriptions. So this is going to be a silicone scalp scrub, and then I can enter some more keywords that define this particular product. So this is going to be anti-dandruff and stylish. Now, once you enter the basic keywords or basic features and basic items that define your product, you can also choose a tone. You can add a custom tone as well. You can add a playful, daring, sophisticated, or any type of tone that you prefer. Once you do that, click on generate, and then you can choose to generate again or keep. So I'm going to keep this over here. Now from this caption over here, I'm going to proceed to our next section, which is our media section. To do this, simply click on upload new, and then you can go on ahead and upload images of your product. Now select all of your images and you can upload them over here. Now, once you have uploaded your images, you can also add them in a particular sequence. So if you want this to be your main product image and you want this to be at the front, 
Simply hold the image by these three dots and move it towards the front. And just like that, this will now be set as your basic product image. You can move the order of these images according to which you personally prefer. Below that, you can enter the price of your product. So once you enter the price of your product, you can also add a compare at price. This is usually a higher price that is going to help make your product look like it has been marked down. Then below that, you can also track your inventory. Then let's add our price per unit. So our cost per item, let's say it's 10. This will also automatically generate our profit and our profit margin margin. Then you can tick this checkbox to track your inventory. Now this allows you for tracking the quantity of products that you have so that Shopify and our customers are aware about the availability of our product. So let's say this is the quantity that we have. Now when it comes to adding the weight of your product, you should definitely add it because of shipping rates. So for example, our product weighs around 0.5 kilograms. Now once you do that, you can go ahead and go into variants and click on add options. You can Add different types of variations that may come with the product that you have. This may include size, color, material, and style. For us, let's say it's color and we can add different option values. So we can have the scalp scrubber in pink or either blue, like so. Once you add your option values, click on done. Now, once you add variations, the number of variants or quantity for each variant will be inserted into the first variant. So you will have to divide this manually and add them separately like this. After filling out all this information, click on save on the bottom right and your product will now be saved. Now, now, you can go on ahead and move towards customization. To do that, you can click on settings on the bottom left and then you're going to scroll down. Once you click on settings, you will click on brand. Now, once you click on brand, you can add your logo image over here. So simply click on scroll down and then click on add a default logo. Now from here, I can upload a file or I can select one of the pre-existing uploaded images. So let's say I want to upload a file over here like this and I'll click on open. Then I can go on ahead and select this new image as our logo image. So click on done over here to upload your logo. Besides adding your logo, you can also add your brand's primary colors that really set a theme in your website. They also include some other images or basic features like your primary colors, secondary colors, cover images, slogans, descriptions, social media links that can all help in branding your business. You can add your social media links. So let me go on ahead and add them right here. So to add a social media link, choose the social media platform that you want to add the link to. Then once you do that, you're going to go on ahead and add your link. So it might be facebook.com slash miracle hair care. And that is my Facebook link. Once I've done this, I can also add another social media link. Let's say it is TikTok. And then for TikTok, it is going to be tiktok.com slash add whatever your TikTok handle is. Now, once you've done that, you can click on save on the top right and you have now added all your basic branding info. Now, still in the settings tab, it's time to set up our Shopify payments. To do this, click on payments on the left panel. So once you're ready to fill out payments, Shopify is going to ask you a few basic questions or information about your business. They'll ask you about your business type, whether you're in a partnership, a sole proprietor, etc. It'll ask you about your EIN number, product category, and more. I suggest filling out all the necessary information if you have them readily available. Any tax info or business verification definitely should be added. The next important thing in payment section is adding your bank account. You want to have both your routing number and your account number so that Shopify can get your funds in your bank. Still, on the same page as the setup guide section, you can go on ahead and click on your settings once more. From here, you can set up your shipping rates. Click on shipping and delivery on the left panel. And if you've added a weight for your product, or your Shopify products, Shopify provides a default calculation of the shipping rates, but they're more like a flat fee and you have the option to get rid of them as well as set up international shipping rates if you are shipping internationally, but you can remove them 
if you're not shipping internationally. Right now, we can leave it as it is, but if you would like to know how to calculate shipping rates or make free shipping rates, let me know in the comments down below so I can make a video about that as well. For now, let's leave this as it is, but in the long run, you definitely want to change and customize this for your own. Now, let's take a look at what all of this looks right right now, because when you're starting out, you definitely want to customize your website right away. And this is also what I love about having a Shopify website. You don't need to be tech savvy or a design expert to turn your website into something interesting that speaks to your brand. You just need to familiarize yourself with the tools. And speaking of tools, let's go to themes. So click on online store on the left and then click on themes. Now, currently I'll show you guys what our store looks like. It'll look a bit bland and bleak because we haven't customized that, but that is okay because I'm going to show you guys step by step how to retouch and build a bit more of a pizzazz. So we can go into the theme section under stores and then once you scroll down, click on visit theme store. Once you do that, this will show you the Shopify theme gallery. You can go on ahead and explore a bunch of amazing themes provided by Shopify. So you can see there are some paid and some free themes. I don't recommend purchasing a theme. I think some of the free themes will work amazingly. Once you choose a theme that you like, so let's say for us within our Shopify theme gallery, I'm going to take a look at the taste menu or the taste theme and I like this. So I'll click on try theme over here. Once we do that, this will be inserted into our theme library. However, just because it's inserted into our theme library doesn't mean that it is actually now our Shopify theme. To actually insert this as our Shopify theme, click on online store. Once you do that, click on themes. Scroll down and you will see it is being inserted into the theme library. Once it has been fully inserted, we're going to publish our store with the new theme. So now that our theme has been inserted into the theme library, click on publish over here. Then click on publish once more to make this our active theme. Once you have made it your active theme, click on customize over here. From here, you can make customizations to your Shopify store. So as a beginner, the first thing you want to do is customize the logo. You can click on your theme settings on the left and then click on logo. From here, you can add a logo. You can add particular colors and also further customize the layout of your store. So I've inserted our logo, then click on sections on the top left. Go back and go into the home page. From here, click on the image and then click on select image. You can use any product image of your personal preference to insert into your front banner. Then click on the text and then insert the text you want to customize on the left. So let's say I want to add best hair care item to exist, the best hair care item. Then I'll change the size from the left. And this way you can make some customizations to your Shopify store. Once you're finished with those, click on save on the top right Right, and then click on exit. Now comes one of the most pivotal steps of setting up our Shopify store, which is setting up our custom domain. This is going to be the URL address of our store. To do this, click on settings and then click on domains on the left. If you already have a domain, click on connect existing domain and follow the instructions. But if you don't have your domain already, click on buy a new domain. From here, enter the domain that you want to purchase. If it's available, then you can purchase it. Once done, it'll automatically be available to your store. Now, everything that we have covered in this video is going to make it easier for you to set up your Shopify store. This includes customization of your store, the amazing features such as 24 seven customer support, POS systems, and only 2% transactional fees that all come from the Shopify starter plan, as well as some of the other amazing features, including building different types of products like physical products, dropship products, or even digital products all in one store on Shopify. All of this is really an all-encompassing bundle. Overall, I really recommend the Shopify starter plan for every beginner. It's simple, it's easy, and it's cheap. So if you figure out that you really don't like it, you can always walk away. But most likely, you'll love Shopify as an e-commerce platform. And in the long run, you might want to upgrade into a more advanced plan with better features that might align as your business scales up. And there you have it, a complete beginner's guide to Shopify. By following the steps we've covered, you're now equipped to launch your own e-commerce site. Remember that the key to success is to keep experimenting with different products and designs to see what resonates best with your audience. Once 
Once again, if you want to sign up on Shopify and claim a huge discount and bonus, head on over to the description down below. You can get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on the first month of Shopify. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you build your Shopify store. Make sure to go on ahead and leave a like and then I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day ahead.